Yes.
Hi. Hope you all had a great, if you're watching us in America, you had a great Thanksgiving weekend. I, I did. I had a huge 24-pound turkey. Um, lots of turkey, 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 that's turkey, that's frozen turkey for later. Um, but thank you for joining us. If you're joining us anywhere else in the world and if you didn't celebrate Thanksgiving, cool. Um, I hope you had a good weekend anyway. Uh, so we're going to be end up <clears throat> killing, I mean, hopefully these guys will survive uh, the second boss battle that was weird from the last time. We are missing a member today uh, simply because of uh, time and overworking and things like that. So we wish uh, Freelancer Blitz, if you're watching us, I hope you're having a good night. Um, take it easy. Rest and self-care is the most important to make sure you drink lots of water. With that, we're just going to jump right into the battle because that's where we last left off. When we last left them off, they had, uh, Tahir had literally taken his pike and had driven it through, uh, uh, through the enemy, which caused it to actually finish the ritual casting of its spell. It needed to die. Um, and we now have the ultimate battle for these guys. We'll see if they survive. It's going to be difficult. They've got a flaming skull. They've got a lich they have to defeat. And several zombies wandering around. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. And as always, we have uh, the illustrious Ziggy the Quick out of Print GM. Say hello, Ziggy. Hello, Ziggy. Hello, Ziggy. Uh, followed by the ever torturous of emotions the plot doctor say hello plot doctor hello plot doctor hello plot doctor and our newest and youngest i can never say your name i know it's dan but it's costas Casuto. Casuto. see you need to change your name you're making it hard on him <laughs> anyways Casuto, dan i'm gonna i'm gone. gonna keep i'm gonna make it worse out of spite now <laughs> <laughs> the suit a long Casuto. string of numbers <laughs> Yeah, and so when we last left you guys off, uh, yeah, this was basically where we stopped, and the new bad guy is over here in the corner waiting to get visited upon you. And we will start off with initiative right off the bat. Anybody want to change their uh, initiative or anything? No, nah, uh, mine's still it, good unless I roll a ten. All right, now uh, just as a remember, as a uh, as a member stick for you. Um, I panicked and thought I'd forget. Well, I have left my major dice bag downstairs, but luckily I have tiny dice here, so it's all good. Um, <laughs> so you guys have magical items on you, so don't mm -hmm. be, don't uh, forget to yeah, use those. Yeah, I have two of me. Right. <laughs> Braun still has a silver bar weapon as a melee weapon, so you can use that if he needs to. Um, I am going to read here. You got several healing potions and other potions on you. I am going to re-roll. Oh, oh, we've got um. Tahir's got heroic luck. Ziggy's got heroic luck, and I've got heroic luck. Wait, we, are we... you already giving heroic luck to these people? You yes. Guys... Lord Baron, I'm thank you very much, Lord Baron. I appreciate it. I'm going to re-roll initiative because I remember I rolled a one last time. Uh, that's an eight, so I believe it's eighteen. Uh, yeah. In total, <laughs> we are just getting I, I, will, I will remove that from you, Lord Baron. There's another one. Stop it. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't change the rules mid game. That's not and how it works. And turning that off. <laughs> Keeps going. <laughs> Keeps going. Stop. <laughs> you you in all fairness in all fairness you're only allowed one so he can spend all his points you're like you're only allowed one since when was that the rule <laughs> you, you never, since he decided that's a new to thing. start spawning spanning it you're just you, changing you're changing up the rules to personally favor you and that's that's no, he's abusing it he's abusing i call bus he's abusing it yeah but it means that that they're using it um, now no, and not fine. later that's when fine. we might that's, need it. Right. So go ahead and give it to them now. And oh, by the way, they are in an area where they actually need more additional heroic luck. I even said mm -hmm. that you're in a, it's, it's an that's area true. In, it's called question. Bad, bad Karma. I'm just re reading this right. That's three heroic luck with all just being given each. Yes. Yes. Oh. I'm now up to nine. <laughs> I think I'm going to cost, make that cost a lot more 
Thanks, Lord Barian, for pointing that out. Oh, I mean, double figures. <laughs> I've got ten heroic look. You're right, time to it. get one shot. <laughs> All right, I am now, thanks to Lord Barian, I am now not going to pull any punches. Any punches. <laughs> 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 I, I know I'm not in control. I mean, seriously. Uh, Nick, I'm never in control. I barely have control of this situation. All right. So uh, did you re-roll, uh, Gascon? Yeah, I got an eight, and uh, it's so it's a total of 18. All right, awesome. So you actually improved your stats. Yeah, that's why I re-rolled, because I'm pretty sure I rolled a one last time. <laughs> yeah, you were at 11 last time. All right, uh, Ziggy, I've got you at 48. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Uh, the bad guy, then I've got Braun at 26. He's going to stay there. To here, I've got you at 17. Do you want to stay there or do you want to re-roll? Yeah, I'll stay there. That's a, a roll of a nine for me. So. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Ziggy, it's all about you, baby. Let's go. Uh, let's see what I'm at on the map. He's had with all this scribbling around it. You know, Aww, thank you, Lord Baron. Right. With this... Big hoofing doofer with the oh, flaming head still there, yes. He's looking for you guys to die now. That's what that's that's what his way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> right. This big fire headed doofer still standing, yes? Uh he's actually a floating skull. And yes, he is still standing. He's diminished. Right. He's diminished. The flames are not as bright, but he is still there. Guys, I will shoot him. <laughs> Deploy violence. Right, we'll fire, fire away. Okay, okay. Fire away, fire uh, wait, before we actually do that, I don't remember uh, to hear. Do you? Did you do any special spiritual weapon? Special weapons. Um, I uh, think, wait, Ziggy, don't you have a? Uh, yes, actually, you've got, you got those uh, those bracers, right? Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. those bracers. Um, so I think Ziggy's got one more turn of spiritual weapon, and I think Bron has two. I don't know why that's not working anymore, uh, Lord Baron. I think you can only enter it once, but I need to go check that out. Make sure you can do multiple times. So remind me after stream, please. I'll give you. Uh, if, I'll go in there and fix it for you. All right. Yeah. So you've got those bracers that actually allow you to use yep. missile weapons as. In so roll a thirty-eight. Roll a thirty-eight with a skill of fifty-two. So that's two successes plus whatever the bracers give me. was two additional successes i'm not too sure wait where are your magic items oh, i had them here oh there they are <laughs> i got them see them right here uh all right so uh would you roll i rolled a 30 it gives me two successes all right so you've got actually another two successes on that that's four so successes with that's shot. four successes it's got Three success, two successes on its physical defense. That gives me two. So my basic damage is five. So that's ten damage with uh, a of fifteen, and a b of two. I don't imagine it's going to bleed somehow. Yeah, I don't think it's going to bleed much. But the minus fifteen to armor is going to be a good one. Right. Got gotcha. you. Uh, Uh, you also get plus 10 holy bonus damage because of the spiritual weapon. Oh, yes, I forgot. Plus 10. Yeah. Holy. Um, so the holy hand grenade of, of Antioch. How many did you do? Total? How many successes did you do? You got two successes. Four, total. four, two, and then. My net successes was two. The right. base damage is five. So that's 10. Uh, there's no extra bonus from the gun itself, but I get 10 extra from the spell. Right, so, so that's 20, 20 altogether, damage. right? Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, how do you want to do this? Right between the eyes, and I just want to basically smash it like a ripe melon. It's perfect. It sounds exactly what happens. Uh, you hit this thing, and it literally, as it's always done, it has hit this thing, it just shatters, right? It just goes... The flames explode into this nice... It goes from a, a, an orange to a bright bluish, and it just... Um, and the last time you guys did that, it actually knocked you guys back. Um, but you guys are not within its radius of that, and it just 
falls apart. <laughs> Yay, one thing is dead. Right, shot right. again. My second shot. And according to my tracking here, this will be... I have to reload after this. Right. I am going to shoot the thing next door to... Um, yeah, that's Bron next to me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. I'm going to shoot the thing next to Bron that's bearing down on him. All right. Zero four. Well, that's a crit. Roll. And heroic luck. And don't forget your heroic luck. Ten. And I won't, so that's 11 extra successes. Um, so that would be... 40... <laughs> oh god, here it comes. Well, I think Lord Baron is uh, 15 gearing up. plus whatever from the braces, so it's just plus two from the so 15. 17 successes. Um, it actually fumbled its uh, defense, so you're going to get an additional <laughs> three successes, so that's 20 successes altogether. How do you want to do this one? Uh, what, what do you want to Literally. do? Literally. As Bron's coming up with his weapon on his shield like that, I want the bullet to go right underneath his armpit and straight into his throat. And uh, take it out. Nice. To hear, mm -hmm. you will suddenly hear this, 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 Zing! as you turn, you see the head of this, this thing, and its throat just explodes open. And then you hear this, ra this uh, ricocheting element behind you. And this thing collapses to the floor and begins to dissolve into ashes and dust. I grin, probably. I think my blood's up at this point. Like yeah, I'm... I think it was last time because you were pretty pissed off. Yeah, there's a lot of very angry sabotory just reveling in the destruction of these creatures right now. Right. Um, anything else for you, Zig? I'm going to move to there and start loading my gun again. All right, very good. All right. And zooming out and over here. Um, yeah, all right. So he's going to do that. He does that first. Can't Let's just get stitches. <laughs> Just get stitches. <laughs> I love that. I'm stealing it. Oh, that is <clears throat> that is getting stolen. Yeah, your joke has been appropriated for the greater good, comrade. <laughs> I, I I need like a, one of those like Halo pictures that's like I'm stealing your meme. <laughs> Canon, trademarked by me and Players Games. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a lich. <laughs> Son of a lich. This is the way trademark. I like that. Yeah. But now you've got a new uh t shirt for your merch line. Just a picture of a lich and then lich just gets stitches. Oh you need to. <laughs> and, I, and I can do that. I've actually got a Yaku that would look I, I can actually colorize that Yaku and just put liches get stitches. Mm -hmm. Even though, yeah. Uh, so this guy is going to just have to find it. Uh, huh, huh, huh. uh well, fortunately, uh, well, no, not fortunately, because of the power of the spell, it can summon those, including those. All right, that's what's happening. Um, it then some oh, character the... creation next week, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> it's fine. I don't want that one. I don't want these guys to be different. I don't think a single of whiskey is going to be enough. You're so pessimistic. Mm. And its Whiskey's turn is up. done. Braun. Uh, let's see here. Braun is going to. What would Braun do? Braun would probably 
we could probably come over here and deal with these guys first, right? He'd also go wrong while doing it. <laughs> wow. So um, for his attack, he rolls a crit. Uh, I know <laughs> what he does. So got eight, nine successes. This guy misses his because he's a simple ghoul. Um, and oh, what to do? Uh, ghoul, 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 ghoul. Start with an H. There we go. Sorry, he's aghast. Um. Oh, thank you, Battle Print. Yep, all right. Uh, his turn is done. It is so Braun attacks uh, this guy. Ooh, he fumbles that. Braun attacks again. He's got uh, so uh, we need to mark it down that he's got two heroic luck so far because I mm -hmm. rolled an ot three and then an ot four. Two. I cannot. And he basically evaporates this dude. Sweet. As Braun does so well. And then that will be the end of Braun's turn. Uh, Gascon! Uh, decisions, decisions. Um, there... Is there a penalty to attacking things with ranged attacks, like if they're right next to you? I can't remember. Uh, you can't. You uh, anything that's like a bow, you'd have to step back five feet. But a crossbow or a pistol, you do, or uh, explosive weapon, you do not, because they don't need the, that extra oomph. Oh, hello. Um, you know what? I'm going to try a different spell for once. Yay. Really? I am going to cast Soul Reap. <laughs> nice. Uh, so that's it's power rank two, but I believe it still only costs one fatigue because of my Cova devotion, uh, or not Cova cool. devotion, um, natural magic. Natural magic, yeah. Um, yeah, it only costs think... one. Cool. Um, so it's, it's a magical defense, um, and I'll roll spellcraft. Uh, we'll just. I think it's uh, four points of health per success in terms of damage. If it. Right. Would you roll? Uh, twenty-one. So that is five successes, I believe. And that's on magical defense, correct? Yeah. I've got fourteen because I rolled an up four and a nine. Cool. Uh, um. Good plan. Uh, they just got a better defense than you did. Yeah, uh, that was my full action. So I, if, I'm just gonna stand here. Wait, does my second? Does the other me do anything? Uh, he basically he does. It, it's it's a. Uh, uh, what is but, it? it is, does it repeat it? Uh, it's a displacement. So basically, he just does the same thing, but there's no magic coming out of him. He just okay. does the motions, right? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to stand here then and look menacing. Look menacing. <laughs> All right. To here, it's your turn. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going I mean, to. Don't forget. Move... So, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt plot. Um, yep. Don't forget, you've got five total actions, Casuto. Right? You've got your full uh, no. move, uh, simple, and, and basics if you need to use those. So don't, don't get caught with your pants down, literally. All right, sorry, go ahead, plot. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, two steps, one here and one there. I'm going to recast Spiritual Weapon on Ziggy. Um, and I'm going to spend... Is it too heroic luck for a re-roll in here? It wasn't a fumble, just a just about roll. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's everything is uh, doubled uh, while you guys are yeah. here. Cool. Uh, that got three successes. Uh, so for the next three turns, uh, Ziggy has a uh, plus 10 on his ability, uh, on his attack skill, uh, plus 11, sorry, and plus 10 holy damage. 
Oh no, plus 10 attack skill, plus 11 holy damage. That's what it is. Right. For the next three turns. You got that and... uh, plot, I mean, uh, out of print? Yeah, got it. And then I'm going to use the rest of my movement. So I move two squares and I've got three more. So one, two, three, and I'm going to line myself up here. And um, yeah, I th think that's my action. I've still got another six turns on that potion of necrotic resistance, don't I? Which gave me 20 bonus health versus necrotic. Yeah. All right. And I am just setting myself up for my next turn, basically. Where well, I'm going to try to do something cool, and we'll see if the dice like me. Right. I've also, I think, got two more turns on my spiritual weapon, because I did cast it on myself. You did. Uh, yeah. Zig, your turn. I am going to continue to reload. Is it a full turn to reload, isn't it? Uh, for you, actually, it's a simple action since you're using your pistols. Yeah, so basically open the side loading gate and just feed the four rounds in, right. close it, and then pull the toggle back to activate it. Right, okay. Then using that corner, I'm going to aim up, and you know that son of a lich? Oh, you're going to take a shot at him. I'm going to have a couple of shots at him. Brilliant. Uh, that's a 19. Um... A skill of currently 62, 52, 42, 32, 22, gives me five successes, plus the two from the blazers, so that's seven successes. You you know that you hit a dead-on shot on this thing. It, you hit it really, really well. Um, there is a magic, there is a shimmering as your bullet strikes him. No effect. No effect. Okay. I'm going to switch targets. Um, right. Does the one directly south of me look like he's okay? He's threatening. He's making threatening gestures at it. Is he okay? Does Gascon look like he's in serious trouble or does he look like he can handle himself? Well, there's two of them. Um, you don't know exactly which one is which, but they don't seem to be in trouble at this moment. Well, I'm assuming the illusionary one's the one with all the rings around him. Well, yes, that's, but as from Ziggy's point of view, you don't know which one's the real one. Okay. In that case, I will go with this one. You can see where my mouse is pointing. No, I can't see where your mouse is pointing. You'll need to use the pointer. I think. Go down to the little pointer tool. Those are the. It looks like a teardrop. Is it the one near Braun by any chance? No, no. Right. Uh, okay. Looking at the big bad guy, it's the one on the top. The one nearest me. Yep, that's the one. All right, go for it. Um, zero three. You guys are killing. See, they don't need heroic luck bonuses, Nick. <laughs> Get yourself I do. heroic luck and roll your critical determination. Oh, it's only eight. <laughs> so, my successes would be is it minus 10 for a second shot? Yeah, that's a uh, minus 10. Yeah, so that's 50. 50, 40, 30, 20, 30. So that's five, six, seven, seven plus eight is 15. Add successes. two more successes with that for your, uh, your gauntlet. I'd already added the plus oh, two for that. All right, very good. Yeah. How many? 15. Is he a dive? <laughs> yeah, it's... 86-ish uh, damage. <laughs> yeah, 86 plus damage, right? Um, yeah. Give me a second. Uh... That 
point, it's just... I get the feeling you've killed it, it reanimates itself because of the bullet and then dies again immediately. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these things, uh, fortunately, are not... So they're not undead, as you guys have known before. These guys are uh, supernatural type of creatures. And mm -hmm. how many points of damage did you do? 15 times 5 is... 75. Plus 10, 85. 85. 85, yeah. This thing uh, falls to the ground and just... It's it's just a hole has been blasted through its chest. It only had 45 health points total, and it just it falls to the to the ground in this sickening <laughs> its guts and everything else kind of just slowly coming out a pool of greenish blood coming around it excellent right i will just continue to hold a aim, aim and when the next target moves and presents itself it's going to get shot all right Uh, the Lich and his little army moves forward. Uh, to here, I'm going to give you a basic action for free to do a Divine Knowledge or lore, Monster Lore check on these things as they move towards you. Yep. Uh, that was good. It's dead. I got uh, quite. three successes. Near dead. It's mostly dead, not all dead. Um... Between the tick and the, the, the new creatures that you see around it are vampiric in origin. Okay. Oh, thanks for brilliant. Um, in terms of vampiric in origin for Legends of Kralos, what does that mean? They've been summoned by a vampire, created by a vampire, or...? Uh, they are a vampire subspecies, and he summoned okay. them, it looks like. Okay, would that indicate that he's a vampire, or...? No. No. Okay. Cool. No, you know, you know of a spell of spells that actually allow casters to actually summon the undead to them. Okay. Um, I'll just shout out a warning saying uh, the creatures is summoned are a type of vampire. To quote Danny DeVito. So, anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Thanks a lot. So, Gaston, make a. Stamina check of TS of three to avoid this uh, this energy ray that's being shot at you, this black purplish ray. Out of print. In response to that joke, bite me. <laughs> oh, there's an offer. Straight stamina. Straight up. Well, no, TS of three. No, as in just stamina, not yeah, stamina. Uh, that is an ought ought, which is a uh, fail. That's a fail. Crit fail. Do you want to Crit use fail. your heroic luck to reroll that? How many is it again? Uh, for you to re-roll that, it is going to be four. Yeah, I'm glad I took all of that uh, heroic luck earlier. You didn't take... Well, yeah, you took and then Nick gave everybody three. Thank you. Oh, for... Uh, 66, so that is only two successes. Uh, you are hit with uh, this ray, and you notice that you are skin begins to shrivel and almost begins to is starting to decay and it's slowly starting to wither and fall off of you uh you take currently right now you're only taking six points of damage each turn okay so, so on its turn you i will tell you to take six additional damage yeah um that's not what beef jerky is supposed to look like <laughs> that's not what I ordered <laughs> uh, these creatures um, move towards you with incredible speed and uh, 
I will be glad when I get my own set of beast cards that I can have in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Where's the dice mm -hmm. roller in this thing? So I know this. I know it's up on the left hand one, corner. Shit. Right, there's a little box on the top left corner of the map. Yeah, that's there's what I was. Dice tray. Yeah, I don't know whether that uh, publicly rolls guys, up. As or these not. things start to move towards you, uh, these particular beasts, these vampires, they're heavily built. Um, they are a. They have the mu head, mutated head of a vampire bat, long, powerful arms that end in large clawed hands. Um, they are covered in rigid plates. Um, as it swings for you first. Armor plates or dinner plates? <laughs> Armor plates. Who's it swinging up? Uh, the first one's going to swing at uh, Ziggy. Cool. Three times. First one is four successes. And I'm going physical defense, yes? Yes. And I rolled a 45 with a skill of 50. Oh, no, skill of 67. So that's what, two successes? Two successes. Mm -hmm. Right, it hits you for, on that one, it hits uh, eight points of damage, ignoring 10 armor. Second attack? And it got 11 armor, so... So it did eight, so that's seven. seven that it, yeah, seven that it hits you with. Uh, it hits you again, or it strikes at you again with uh, four successes again. Uh, minus two successes. Failed. Are you f oh, so you, did you fail it or? Failed it. All right, so it's got a total of four successes. Uh, it hits you now uh, with its other claw for... 24 points of damage, ignoring 10. Okay. I'm on now on penalties. <laughs> I'm minus three to all successes. And and it's Engl and we're, we're England, which means we're terrible at penalties. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> yeah, we lost a World Cup over that recently. <laughs> yep. I don't the ball. No, me neither. <laughs> to be honest, I. I just watched the final, which was probably the downfall of it, to be honest. Was that? Yeah. And it misses its last attack on you, Ziggy. Thank God for that. Well, Ziggy is fragile. Ziggy is squishy. Ziggy is definitely a long range person. Yeah. Um, this next one, uh, is it you to hear? He does the same thing. He rolls. Uh, I've got mm -hmm. eight successes on that one. Okay. Um, pulling no punches. I will roll, but it's, unless I crit, it's impossible for me to miss this entirely. Um, I did not crit. However, I did get five, six successes. So, so only two get through. So five successes, points, 12 points of damage, ignoring 10 armor. Yeah, okay, that's two points of damage, that's fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, ignoring 10 armor. Yeah, okay. Uh, six, cool. It attacks again. I'm just looking something up. It's got uh, six successes. Uh, five successes. So six points of damage, ignoring ten. Okay. Yep. Cool. And it's last on you. Uh, seven six or six successes on this one. Oh, it's not rolling well. Um, I got uh five successes. Okay, so one, so six, ignoring ten. Uh, both mm -hmm. Ziggy and Tahir, I need you to make uh, willpower checks. Uh, versus fear. He has a four. Now remember, um, with all the extra heroic luck that you have, mm -hmm. you can spend extra heroic luck to uh, to almost guarantee that you pass this if you need to. Um, spending four to reroll the ninety nine. <laughs> Just straight past it. We're good. <laughs> I'm good at it anyway. Are you good? 
Yeah. Um, while out of print's re-rolling that, um, the focus ability of just... I'm just reading... It's not the most updated version, but it doesn't actually say what kind of action using focus it's is. An, it, it's, it's, it's always on. It's just something you can do. Um, no, because it says gain a plus five bonus per 20 willpower or intelligence to a single specified skill for one turn per willpower or intelligence modifier. Right. I don't know. How do I activate that? Because it can only be used twice a day. Well, so you can only, so it's an instant activation, right? It's like, it's not even a simple, it's just something you can activate. Okay. Right. Okay. That, I twice. just want to double check that. Right. Cool. Was the roll any better? Uh, four successes on the reroll. Nice. Wow, nice. Um, it's helpful having a willpower of 78. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so just let you know that if you need to, you can uh, you can spin. If you get hit by a at really bad attack right now because of the uh, conditions of the world around you, you could you'll mm -hmm. have to spend eight heroic luck, but you can completely ignore the damage from one attack. But you can only use that once per attack, once per combat. Yeah. Um, that would that would be all of my remaining heroic <laughs> luck. So I, I'm yeah. keeping it in the bank for when I really need it. Right, understood. Oh, well, at least you can. I, I can't um, do that anymore. <laughs> I think that yeah. was the end of that. Um, this other creature comes and attacks your duplicate, and it swipes at it three times, and it's, it stops, and it kind of tilts its head, and then sniffs and looks at you. Uh, uh, Bring it on! <laughs> this time. And that is the end of the Necromancer and, all, and his little army. Brawn. Where would Brawn go? Bron would probably rush over here because of Ziggy. Yeah. Uh, and Bron will attack. Uh, mark down another heroic luck for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man's on fire today. Um, Seriously, it's like poker chips at a blackjack table. With heroic luck. Yeah. Especially while he's not here. It's when he does his best work. I think he actually did more. Absence. Seven the chat. Was that too shady? <laughs> and so he's got magical weapons, right? To here because yeah. of, you have your blessing and the silver on it, so it actually does that. So yeah. Um, mm, 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 mm. So it's essentially that. Um, so he'll take another shot. You see this? You almost a crit, but not. I rolled an out <laughs> six. Um, he, that's a quirk for his he weapon. Would, obviously, he, he would have uh, used his barbaric ability and and his other ability in howl and barbaric mm -hmm. right uh, rage. Um, well, not yep. rage, but the bloody the the bloodied the cry whatever, thing whatever it is the cry that he does, um, which gives him a plus eight. So he no, oh, this thing is getting sliced in front of you, Ziggy. Um, he missed on that one, and his last one, he misses on that one. Um, this thing is badly, badly, it's, looking, it's not looking as good as it could. <laughs> yeah, I don't see uh, Freelancer on, unfortunately. I don't see him. Probably, well, if he's really, really tired, which I assume he is, he's probably yeah. just like, Crushed. <laughs> I crash, Fuck it, I'm asleep. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. That's Linda Bronze turn. Gascon. Well, now that um, well, I d I don't need to worry about range and all that stuff because it's more than five feet away from me. Um, I am going to first of all use focus on my spellcraft, so it gets a plus fifteen bonus. For uh, just double checking the turn, uh, for for one turn per willpower intelligence modifier. So I think that's for. I'm going to use my intelligence modifier. I think that's for eight turns. I think that's how I've read it. Yes. Okay, so for eight turns, my um, spellcraft is now an eighty-three. Yep. Um, 
And with that, I am going to, because it's worked out for me so well so far, I am going to cast Elemental Bolt at the new arrival. Uh, spirit version. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Both dice falling off my desk is what is how it goes. God, is that... Or five. Nice. <laughs> That's heroic luck. And it crits. Um, well, it would it crits anyway because of the uh, enhanced crit range that I've got on it. Yeah. So, no, he actually uh, so he took an ability that actually was called crit, uh, Critical Increased, which now takes it from an OT1 to OT5 for him to an OT1 through OT10 for his crits. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So I need to roll the explosion as well. Uh, so that's hold on, it's like 83 or 5. So that's eight successes so far. Uh, with another six. So that's 14 successes. Uh, all 14 get through because I failed my physical defense. I want to say that that's defense. assuming it's undead, the max damage, uh, the full damage goes through, which is, I believe, four. Um, if I if I could really right, where is it? I believe it's four damage per bolt. So four times fourteen is fifty six. Right, elemental bolt. Yes, yeah, fifty six damage. It should yeah, be it's four. Yeah, um, yeah, deal standard. And you do how many points of damage? Uh, assuming it's um, assuming the spirit bolt works as intended, right. uh, it's fifty six. You hit this thing dead on, and it shrieks in pain as you open up a glowing gash in its side. Um, doing 56 points of damage. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other one is... A... Alright, um, yeah. It howls in pain, and now really looks at you like, I'm coming for you. <laughs> um... You made a laugh. <laughs> I know how fast this thing moves, realistically, um, because of the fact it closed the gap so quickly. Uh, so <laughs> I need to decide what to do. Ooh, Jim. I, I feel like I'm going to make like a block of curdled milk and cheese it, honestly. Shove some poo in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. So that was your fool. You still got your move. Established dominance. Simple left. What did you say, plot doctor? To establish dominance. <laughs> T pose. No, don't even move. Just T pose on him. <laughs> um. No, but really, I am going to. Uh, how much fatigue was it for a full sprint? <laughs> uh, it would be twenty fatigue. Uh, let's look at my fatigue. Oh, sod it. I'll do it. Um. That's four times movement, right? For full sprint? Yes. Cool. Uh, then I am going... Uh, running all the way over here. <laughs> Coward. Yep. I ain't got no one. I ain't got anyone here, so... <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't be that close to battle anyway. Mm -hmm. I have to be actually kind of close for most of my spells to hit. Do you? Because the the range of my bolts is twenty feet. That's a short range. Uh huh. The bolts are tw only twenty feet. Mm hmm. It's true, it's only 20 feet. I will oh, just double check. And a bolt? All I right. will just double check. Yeah, no, it is 20 feet. Uh, so yeah. to here, it's your turn. Give me one second, guys. Mm -hmm. You just say it's my turn as well. That's cool. Yeah, it's your turn. Sweet. Um. Okay, I'll just wait for him to get back. But. T pose to establish dominance. T pose to establish dominance. Uh, I think spiritual weapon on brawn is probably the most useful thing I can do right now. Attempt to commune with the entity through the medium of dance. Hey, MDM. I... 
I actually have dancing on my sheet as a skill. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Entertainment <laughs> dancing. There you go. Yep, I've got <laughs> sixty. I've got skill rank sixty points in that. Pull the like, Guardians of the Galaxy dance off. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a terribly funny idea. Great, not going to get me killed whatsoever. <laughs> no, not at all. Or provide a distraction for a turn. We'll see. <laughs> if it we'll now. See how desperate things get. To get. <laughs> so what are you doing, bud? Yeah, part of to hear. Oh, what am I doing? Cool. Um. Right, so I'm going to make two steps up here um, and cast a spiritual weapon on Bron. Okay. Uh, that was a good roll. Uh, that's four successes, so that's 12 additional damage and plus 10 skill uh, for four turns. And then um, I'm going to... I can still strike from here because I've got my pike, uh, my halberd. So uh, can I take an attack and cast a spell uh, with a negative modifier, or is it cast a spell you're at, at, at turn ends? Well, the casting of the spell is generally a full is a is is a full action unless it says otherwise. So that's what you did. That's your full action yeah. for that particular moment. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me double check. Yeah, it's a full action. Uh, Divine power doesn't have a that I could see. Uh, doesn't have a um, how long it takes to make it happen. Uh, like it's not an action type. Like it's not a movement or anything like that. So is it just something I can do instantaneously? What is it again? Divine power. Yeah, no, it's it's an instantaneous thing. It's just it's that's something you activate. It's just always on, and you just use it. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, that's great. Uh, in which case, that's the end of my turn for now because I don't see that giving me any advantage on the defense. So, all right, back to Ziggy. Ziggy's mm -hmm. not looking very good. Is he um, cleaning the glasses? I'll point to my bag and say, um, "Take a five foot step." Yeah. That big guy there looks like it's been dealt with. So I'm going to shoot this one. All right. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, it's the lone one on the left side of the hall. Yeah. He's currently 35 feet away from me. According to the measurements on the map. Okay. Now oh, let's shoot them nice. I don't think Forty-four. Ah, but I'm going to go to shoot up. Um, twenty-four. Let's go with fifty-two. Sixty-two. So sixty-two, fifty-two. That's two successes plus two, so four successes. How far is it away? I'll bring the mic up again. 35. 35 feet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a minus 15 to your attack skill for that range for a uh, pistol. In that case, I've hit it with one success. Yeah, it kind of just dodges out of the way or you miss it completely. I got three successes on my physical defense there. And just for you, uh, just for your information, uh, out of print, um, ranges are on page three thirty-five of the game of the games of the game of the player's guide. Sorry, uh, three three five. Right, got it. Ooh. Right. Crossbow sling. Anything else? Got yeah, I'm gonna take another shot at him. Okay. So it's at minus 25 now. And um, that's a 15 on the dice. Um, with a skill. Of, I don't know, I'll be right back. Different windows open. It's like a juggling match. Two. Minus 25, you say? 
Yep. So that's good. Skill of 27 and a roll. But plus 10 for the spiritual weapon. Yeah, so basically, so you've got a plus 10 for the spiritual weapon, which was reduces your overall overall penalty to five. a minus 15. Oh, right, minus 15. So I've hit it with two successes. Two? Plus two from the races. So that's four successes. Total. Both get through. So all four get through, or just two get through. All of them get through. Right, so that's four. Yes, 20 plus an extra 10. So 30 damage and minus 15 armor. All right, you put a gashing wound in this thing and it kind of turns now and looks at you. Or it looks in your general direction. And it's got an open wound, festering. Yeah. It's hurt badly. Okay. Or, anything else you want to do? Uh, just start reloading my pistol again for next round. Um, actually, what you yeah, so you can do that now as a simple action and be ready for next round. Use that as a simple action. Uh, yeah, it's get a simple action. Round. Yeah, it's a simple action to read. Definitely need to bigger magazine capacity in this shooter. Right. Uh, uh, the necromancer. Fully comes in. Uh, Casado takes six points of decaying damage as your flesh begins to wither and fall off. I feel like every time I just need to start changing my um, username to some random thing. <laughs> what did I say? It's Casado. You said right? Casada. Casado, Casado. I'm tomato, almost tempted tomato, to just change tomato, my name tomato. to Casava to Casava at this right. Cascada. Do Cascada instead. It's like the highest band of whenever they release that song. Never heard them. Really? Right. I still feel your touch when you sleep next to me. Uh, Euro... That just sounds weird. Eurodance? Uh, it's... Oh, what the Fire it over to me. Yeah, we will do. I might recognise it, but remember... I was every time we to... touch. They did every time we touch. Oh, that song. Yeah. Um, not a fan. Oh. I was born under a rock. Not literally, obviously, but... I was born in the 70s. Stop complaining. I my was born music. in 01. All right, here my we go. My music was better. Um, this vampiric creature comes at you um, to here. Mm -hmm. uh, it is going to strike at you three times. Yep. First one is three successes. Um, I'm going to spend two hero clock for a reroll on that. Uh, that was worth it. I got uh, four successes. Next one is three successes, successes again. Uh, I got three successes. Last one is six successes. I'm not going to avoid all of that. Unless I crit, which I did. Aha! Um, so that's a heroic luck back. Nice. nice. Um, and I will roll my additional d10 in a second, but that's six successes to start with. And, yeah, and all I, need, uh, all I, all I got was six, three. All yeah. I got was six no. successes, so you're good. Um... Then the one in front of Ron is going to attack him three times. Five, five, and crit. Ten exploding. Eighteen. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. The first oh, load. One is five. He defends against that one. He rolled really well. Well, really well again and now the big one hopefully you'll survive critical uh it's currently seven 25 successes you know, <laughs> a 15 he'll spend two heroic luck to re-roll that and it's worse he actually fails so all 25 are going to hit him uh so 25 times a bunch you see brawn kind of still standing there you see his armor being rend rent apart um and chunks of flesh of his furry flesh being pulled pulled apart uh he did make his stamina check so he's still at standing zero but he is currently at z uh, he's he's not good 
you know how many heroic luck he had already? Because he's gained three this fight, so if he's got enough, I think like spending the eight for him might be worth it. Uh, maybe. Let me double check here. Because that is a massive hit, yeah, like a massive, violently yeah. massive hit. It's very massive. My PC likes to play. Let's hide the folders. Yep. Uh, currently, what do you need so three, screens? nine. Yeah, he'll spin that eight completely because he had yep. six. So and well, and then you got three more from um the the Baron. So he's nine. He was at twelve. He'll spin the eight and completely ignore the attack. Okay. But cool. that finishes his turn. I think I want to say that's what happens. Uh, yeah, so it can only happen once per attack. Um, and so he actually declares it. Um, that's the end of that one. Uh, the Necromancer, how close is he to you guys? I've just been given another heroic look by the look of it. <laughs> um, this guy who is near you now. All right, so let's see here. We bunched up like fools. <laughs> and, um, to here, make a stamina check, TS of two, because you feel this aura of cold now advancing upon you. Yeah, I killed it. Good. All right. Um, 15 foot. Uh, you, Ziggy, and Braun all must make a stamina check, TS of four. Ron's got his. As you're overwhelmed with a, a stench that is uh, foul, foul, foul. foul. TS of I got mine. Um, I failed mine with a 94, but that's not a fumble, is it? So it's just a one point, yep, re two points re-roll. Yeah, it's just two points of re-roll. Yeah, I'll re-roll that. 37 with a stamina of 61. So you failed. You still failed. Still failed. Uh, you are what is considered staggered uh, because you're overwhelmed with uh, the stench, vomiting, and other things that are happening. Uh, effects, effects. Staggered, uh, staggering causes you. Uh, you uh, you act last in the turn, and you may only move a quarter of your normal movement rate. Um, and you lose the ability to use any action other than your move action. And you will be this way for six turns. Get out. Uh, until you're, until you're healed or you leave the area. So you gotta, you gotta go back a few feet to get <clears throat> out of the aura or the area. Of the stead. It's just this overwhelming, like... Like rot and rot and decay and stuff that's just filling your guys' lungs. Um, now, as it's full action, make a willpower check TS four uh, to here. Mm -hmm. As it as you feel this energy, this this these black pulsating bands of negative energy begin to pull at your life. That was a crit. Um, nice. You needed that. I needed that. Uh, and that was uh, ten successes. Brilliant! Bite you, me. You felt your in, your life energy being drained um, until you uh, focused and decided not to allow that to happen. Uh, these other guys are moving towards you, and that's the end of their turn. Braun is going to finish decimating that vampire creature in front of him. Uh, give him another heroic luck. <laughs> yeah, he rolled a 10, 2, so 12. His attack skill is huge, 78. So that's 19 successes. Yeah, it basically, he cuts this thing in half, and as he's doing so, it just starts to melt away, you know, like that, that, that uh, Indiana Jones part where they just melt away in the bone, and it just fades, and it just come, becomes this mass of blood and guts and then eventually dissipates into dust. 
killing this guy. I just love hearing bronze attack rolls. They're just like <laughs> very, very fundamentally satisfying on a deep level. It's right? just like the amount um, of damage that he puts out is He's beautiful. gonna step up to the the necromancer and yep. use another one of his attacks. Uh he's got five with that one. Ought for critical for a defense for the the necromancer lich. Mm -hmm. Um which gives him a huge. Yeah, he beats it by. He beats it all day long. Um, he's gonna try it again. He's gonna strike at it again. He's got a third. He's got four successes. I rolled an ot one critical on the defense for the lich, and ten, thirteen. Yeah, he beats it all day long, and he'll try one more time because that's the fourth attack, and he misses on the fourth attack. That's Bronze's turn. Gascon, Gascon. Yes, go on. Right. Um, I was a bit of an idiot for doing this earlier, but oh well. Um, I'm glad I got out of the way. Um, is it three times the movement is how much? Three times running back? Yeah. Um, it'll be uh, 15 fatigue to run back. I'll take, I'll take that. Um, and then I'm going to cast a completely different spell because, frankly, I just want to try something different. Um, I'm going to cast Pebbles to Boulders. Wow, oh, brilliant. That's my full, that spell. Uh, well, first of all, I will move the full 45 feet, which uh, I can go... Um, I believe it's up to... Right. I want to go... Th there. Uh, there. And then I shall... Well, hopefully I actually get something decent. Uh, that is a 27 uh, with a score of 83. That means I can... Uh, that's how many successes? Um, six, I believe. So I can create three boulders. Well, magically infused pebbles currently. And they get a physical defense. And who and where are these boulders going? I'm not throwing them yet. I can't. I have to wait as a move. I have to use it as a move action. I have to throw them as a move action. The initial casting, as written, means I just infuse the pebbles. Oh, throwing okay. them is, a, is another right. move. Got you. Thro throwing them as another move action. So basically, I'm just priming them at the moment. Right to here, it's your turn. Is it out right. of print? Do you want to be shot? <laughs> um, more than you already are. <laughs> uh, bronze on the big guy. Um, and I'm kind of in a position where I'm. If this were chess, I'd be protecting Ziggy. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I will use my move action to invoke the divine presence to turn on dead. Okay. Um, which I do just about, um, which means that I think it's within 15 feet. Undead creatures need to make a will pass save TS of two, TS of two, uh, in order to avoid fleeing me because I'm just that scary. Basically, screaming violently, well, roaring violently at them. Yeah, oh no, that's a different skill I have. <laughs> I have that, Understand but it, I don't think it works particularly well on. <laughs> I don't right. think it works particularly well on undead. Um, what you're doing? Uh, you're you're trying to turn them, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a TS two, right? Yeah. Uh, divine, divine, or is it what? What is it exactly? It's divine presence. No, no. What? What's my defense? It's a TS two of oh. what? Is it? Uh, willpower check. It's willpower. willpower. Check? Yeah on all of them everybody there uh everything within 15 feet <sighs> cheers uh yeah everybody uh, except the, the first, one that's ep further south yeah. than you yep got you yeah all right yes two willpower check yes yeah uh the big guy makes his yeah i saw that one uh, coming this guy begins and what's the effect that they lose please 
Um, I'll just get it up. Um, so I know it's absolutely correct, but I'm fairly certain they have to flee. They have to flee me. Um, well, fortunately for you, whew, I don't need that. This guy goes fleeing in this direction. This guy goes fleeing. It's up to a hundred feet, right? Uh, I'll double check one second. Um, nearly there. Cool. Uh, causing them to flee your presence upon taking this ability to choose a creature type that you tend to turn undead. Um, within 15 feet, divine. T uh, oh, sorry, it is a divine defense. Sorry, I got that wrong. Um, it doesn't matter. They fell. It was it was massive failure, so it wasn't like okay, cool. They fill well. for one turn uh, per success. I got two. Um, I define knowledge, and they can attempt to break it with wits or intelligence. Um, uh, at the end of each game term, basically, it just just says they have to flee me. It doesn't say how far, but it's only for a couple of turns. Right. So, but it's flee. brought us a couple of turns breathing room. That's what I'm after. Well, I gave you some breathing room because the two vampiric creatures are the only ones that were that failed their their roles. Anything else you want to do? Um, that was my move action. Uh -huh. Um, so I'm going to cast cure wounds on Ziggy. Okay. Not with that roll, I'm not. Ah. Uh, with that roll, I will. Um. Uh, Ziggy back, back 16 wounds. Cool. I believe that would be me. Yeah, let's see. 9 plus 16, a plus move to 25. Nearly full. Thank you cool. very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. This is don't move, don't spend it all at once. <laughs> no intent to. Cool. And that's uh, me for the turn. All right, Ziggy, back at you. Top of the turn. Moving away. I thought he could have... Actually, no, I'm not going to say anything. Well, at quarter of my movement rate. Ugh. Which mm. is a fast rate to start with because I'm a short ass. So, basically, there. <laughs> you move five feet. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Ugh. Is that five feet enough to limp him out of the stench cloud, or...? <laughs> Yes, it is. Cool. He's yeah, just, he, was, he was on the edge of the radius. He was just on the uh, the radius of it, right? He was just on the edge of the radius. So the rancid radius. All right, Ziggy, that's it for your turn. The necromancer uh, does it again uh, to here. Mm -hmm. Do Four. I need to take damage? Four successes. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to take six uh, uh, withering damage. Just gone. That's fine. Uh, make a willpower check TS4 as these bands, the black bands, come at you again, attempting to drain your life. Yep, spending a heroic luck on that. Uh, two heroic luck, sorry, that's. Uh, willpower check, yeah. Let me just double check. Yeah, uh, four, just made it. Cost me two heroic luck. It's going to come <laughs> down to you and him. This is what it's going to come down to. <laughs> I hope uh... not. I really hope Ron just has a new one. Although all the time he's doing that, I'm really just hoping he's spending fatigue. <laughs> we'll find out. You see him <clears throat> mutter some words. Well, you hear him mutter some words in a dark, in a dark foul language. And suddenly you feel this oppression of your magical abilities. Um, okay. Within a 20 foot radius. So mm -hmm. basically. Uh, Gascon, you're just on the edge of it. Fair enough. Basically, what happens here, uh, for those of you who step into it, you have uh, one lower success in your own spells for every three successes garnered in this casting. Mm -hmm. So it's a Tia, it'll, it reduces your total by two. Okay, cool. Um, 
Oh, I ain't going any further. I wasn't going any further anyway. I'm staying on the outside of ranges and yeeting stones at people. All right, and that is. You guys have already passed the aura of cold, the cold death stench. Um, yeah, so it's its main thing is magical energies. It's done. Braun goes to strike at the same. He's got five successes. It's got more. He strikes again. 24. He missed. Uh, he's got six successes. I've got more. And last one. He misses. And well, third one and fourth one. He misses both. He misses those. Uh, gets gone. As my move action, I would like to um, yeet the boulders <laughs> using my spellcraft as my attack score. So I will um, throw them at the bottom right of the two um, up in front of me because it's within my 20 foot range. Um, and I believe it's physical. Def it would make sense if it was physical defense, but I will just double check. Yes. Yeah, it's physical defense. I'm I'm tempted to re-roll it because I got 59, which isn't terrible. That's still three successes, but... Make a decision. Be quick. Ah, uh, screw it. I'm going to burn two. 49! Sure. One more success. Four successes, then. Four successes, yeah. That'll do. And where are you throwing this? Show me where are you throwing this. Uh, you both of them... Of uh, I've only got two because I got six success. Sorry, was it six successes or? Yeah, you got six successes last time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll throw it on this bot. All of them on this bottom right one. I really don't care. <laughs> so, um, are you? Because these things are four feet in diameter, right? They literally take up one whole spot. So you've got three of these things. Are you throwing them at these two guys, or are you throwing it all three at them at him? Uh, the big guy's not within 20 feet, so... Um, in that case, it'll be both here. Um, we'll put one on this one, two on this one. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Is that... Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm just looking at something else. Cool. Um, so physical defense for one of them. And I think he passed that. I, I got anything. four. All right. Um, these are the ghouls. You got four? Yeah. Okay, that one is going to get hit by one. The other one's got two coming at him. He fails the first one and fails the second one. Right, so the damage is 10 points plus 4 per success of the caster. So that would be, in theory, 26 per? Yeah, so the one's 52. So one of them, the one that got hit by two, you hear it go as both these things just one hits it and it then bounces through, and the other one hits him and just squashes him flat. So that one is terminal. Life signs negative. This is what happens when you're a stoner. Uh, <laughs> the other one, and you did 26, right? Yeah, so... Yep. Um, right? He is... 26 per boulder. No, but you only got one... You only threw one at him. Oh, yeah. The other one got two boulders, and that the first one hit him badly, and then the other one basically squished him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's yep. done. This guy's badly injured. Uh, anything else, Gascon? I still have a full action. <laughs> yes, you do. So I'm going to blast an elemental bolt because I can. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so I'll tick off another fatigue. Um, and then spellcraft. Oh, it's a physical defense as well. That is a 13, which means I have eight successes. Nice. And you're blasting at uh, that other, that other, that 
that remaining ghoul, correct? Yeah, Spirit Bolt, because that's just the easiest one for me. <laughs> yeah, I've got three successes. So that's five successes. So that's 20 damage. I believe. Yep. It's, uh, and it's... It goes right through him. Opens up a huge glowing hole as you uh, tear through it, and it falls to the ground. Uh, kicking and screaming, dying. Do, do the classic blowing out the finger gun thing. Basically, it just... It just right? Um... <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Ziggy <start>? looking confused <laughs> as the guy literally blows out a smoking finger. <laughs> yes, gone. Yes. Is that it? Uh, that will be it. Yes. All right, to here, your turn. Cool. Oh, um, I don't think I could do anything else for my friends. I'm going to cast a spiritual weapon on my halberd. Um, because it just faded on the last turn. Uh, that's minus two successes, isn't it? So yes. that's that's still um, that's still four successes. So that's nice. Um, I had a good roll. Four successes, spiritual weapon. Um, I'm going to then move up. Uh, so I'm standing next to Bron. Um, ready to attack on my next turn. One, two, one, two. There we go. Great. Cool. All right, very good. All right, Ziggy, come on, Ziggy. Right, I'm out of the uh, fart zone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can act normally now. Yes. Right. Taking another shot at that zombie. Well, it's actually a ghoul. It's not a zombie. Okay, I'm going to shoot the ghoulie. Getting the ghoulies. There were two zombies and two ghouls that came out of these uh He's these 25 feet away from me, and that's no penalty on the pistol range. Correct. Zero three again. Your dice really did want you to start blasting, don't they? It, it's... I ever get really good or really bad or, you know. Well, that is um, how dice generally work. You know, it's either really good, really bad, or, eh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little on the uh, D10 for extras. Right, what's your total? Because it's it missed its physical defense. My total will be... Five, six, seven, eight for the braces. So that's eight times five is 40 plus 10, 50 damage. Didn't you roll that? So you got eight successes. Didn't you roll a... Uh... Yeah, I got a one. Oh, you got a one. <laughs> All right. Um, Still one more success. Just shoot him straight between the eyes. And then you want him to like, just go cross eyed for a moment. The head, the, the the head, the head just, just basically explodes like a ripe watermelon. It's it's Icarish colored brains and matter just floating everywhere. Some lands on Gascon's uh, boot. Unfortunate. <laughs> he looks down, looks up, thumbs up. <laughs> All right, Zig, you got uh, three more shots. Other threats other than the big bad guy. These vamp these these vampiric creatures that are kind of cowering away at this moment, at least for a little while. And there's one by the door. He is currently fifty five feet away from me. Which is still no penalty for a handgun. For a handgun? That's a penalty for a handgun. No, it's not. 61 feet is the first penalty for handgun. <laughs> Locked it up. Are you sure about that? Yeah, look at me. Look, you I'm, took I'm, the page I'm, to look I'm at. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. So firearms. Uh, 
So down at the bottom, range of firearms, pistol range. Yeah, pistol range. Short, medium, medium, 31 to 60. No yeah. penalty. Oh, you don't have the most up-to-date book. So, yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> Damn, you've changed it on me. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll play what you have because that's, that's, that's only fair. Uh, zero 09. Zero 09? <laughs> Nice. God's sake. Which I do believe is a crit for my handgun. It is. And this bad guy, the big guy, actually um failed his physical defense. Does he I think he's got a couple of heroic luck. Let's see what it's what what I say here. He's got five, so he's gonna re-roll that. And he's better, so he's got seven successes. Okay, well I've rolled an eight on the D ten. Um, I've uh, five plus Six. eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 total successes minus his seven, so eight altogether. Eight successes, yeah. So eight times five, 40 plus an extra 10 for the holy, 50 damage to him. And I'll I'll say this again. Never underestimate player characters or their dice rolls. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Never go easy on the PCs. Um, Cheers. So fifty points. Yep. All right. Uh, this time you actually see your uh, your your bullet actually penetrate. It does this little magical glow. But it hits him in the shoulder, and he just... Rawr! And then looks at you, his eyes piercing at you. Anything shoot else? Shoot him again. You're going to shoot him again? All right. Yep. Want to see me do it again? Um, That's a 55, so that's going to be a miss. But I will spend a heroic look to reroll that. Mm, 40. Mm. One success. Plus two, sorry, three successes, including the braces. All right. I got... Uh, Critical success. All day long. Damn it. Much a shot until the same bullet hole. You're going <laughs> to shoot him again? No, no. The penalties are too high now. So. But I will endeavor to have a look if we've got the right version of the rule player handbook. Um. All right. Ziggy, that, you, Ziggy's done. The Necromancer. Yep. Uh says something in a foul magical language and Lord Varian are you Lord Barrett are you still with us Serbi are you still with is still with us? Oh god are we having to deploy the heroic lock? <laughs> are you guys still with uh, us? No? Alright. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see here. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> You're a man of wealth and taste. No. Well, <laughs> definitely not taste if uh, your you, your thoughts on what I'm drinking or anything to go by. I love no. that song no. so much. <laughs> no, I was actually quoting a Rolling Stone song. Yeah. Yeah. I... Before your time. <laughs> Mm. Some songs I do listen to that are before my time, but it's uh, sympathy for the devil by the Rolling Stones. Say that again. Sympathy for the devil by the Rolling Stones. I was more referring to out oh. of print, but thank you anyway. Okay, cool. No, I said you're that young. Virtually every song is before your time, isn't it? Eh, it depends. Well, I mean, it's before my time until I decide to start listening to it realistically. Well, there is that. But I still stand by the 70s music was better because it, music was better when it was allowed to be made by ugly people on drugs. I mean, they kept the drugs. So what you're saying is that we need to, re to revive the age of the 70s music. Everyone just needs to start taking cocaine. Well, 70s fashion is coming back, isn't it? So like 70s music. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, that also means 70s music artists, and I don't think I want the repercussions of that. 
I mean, half of them aren't dead anyway. They're so pickled. We just have to get them out of storage. I don't mean the being dead part. <laughs> I mean the much more the TOS, the potentially TOS violating stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. But again, nothing would change if they came back. I just looked at the map. <laughs> oh, I was up. These, uh, stuff these out of the ground comes these uh, shimmering images of negative energy of these uh, horrific bodies. Uh, and they kind of, they, they begin to take structure and become solid. And you find you find that they are uh, twisted forms of rotting flesh. And let's see here. That's the end. Uh, well, no, the necromancer's actually got one more it needs to do. Um, business decisions. How do I want to kill you? <laughs> Slowly, of old age. I'm with that. After, after this adventure? <laughs> In 20 years, when you decide it's time to release Advanced Legends of Kralis, second edition. No, it's just. It's just Legends of Kralis, I hate everything edition. <laughs> <laughs> um. Here, make a stamina check TS4 as these uh, bands, pulsating bands, come out, out at, at, at you again. Stamina. Yep. No, willpower. Willpower. Okay. Willpower. Uh, passed. Uh, four nice. successes. And that's the end I'm of just, turn. I'm just not going down to it. Like, bring it. Yeah, Braun uh, strikes at it. Uh, I've yep. got four or five successes. I've got six, seven. He misses on that one. And misses on that one. Nearly critically fail, fumbles that one. And misses on the last one as well. Bones having a night against this guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, he's he's tough. He's hard to yeah. hit. He gets gone. Um... I'm going to deploy the ranged spell Twasset maneuver. Okay, I'm going to cast Spirit Bolt at the one directly below to here because it is within my range. Uh, so physical defense, and I got uh, that is all four. Brilliant, nice. So that is eight successes, um, and I get heroic luck. And you get to roll your critical determination again. Come on. Five, so uh, thirteen successes, oh, and assuming guy... mm. on that guy that's just below you, right? Below, below to here, below to here, yeah. How many successes? Thirteen. And you're using spiritual bolt. Yep. Assuming it's undead, because that seems to be the theming. <laughs> so I've got four successes. So four out of your thirteen is so nine. nine. Uh, so that's thirty-six damage. I'll take it. Thirty-six damage total, right? And there's three of these bad boys. All right. Um. Anything? Uh. Anything else, Kaskan? I'm gonna stand there looking pretty. Okay. <laughs> well, with that luxurious oh. beard. Did I need to take six damage last turn? Yes. Like, from every, the every, yeah. Every time I come to the necromancer, I keep forgetting. Yep. Uh, uh Okay. We're we're getting a bit scared now. But we're getting a bit scared now. Not on penalties, but things are getting spicy. <laughs> I am not doing anything else. I'm just going to stand there. 
shield at the ready to uh, protect me. All right, uh, to hear your turn. Well, uh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to activate uh, or use uh, my divine power. So um, I get a plus 10 strength increase, which, uh, remind me again, how much does that bump my modifier by plus two? Plus two. Or pl plus two. Yeah, cool. And um, I am going for, and I've got an extra two successes uh, on pretty much everything. Um, uh, plus two successes on attacks and um, this will last for uh, uh, three turns cool three turns uh and i am going to with a ferocious snarl uh begin laying into this guy with my halberd as hard as i can so yeah, let's go for it. see how that goes um so i've got 60 Three weapon craft currently. Um, so I'm going to spend two heroic luck to reroll that. It was a 69 though, which is nice. Um, <laughs> giggity. Giggity. <laughs> that's much better. Uh, that's oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six I mean, seven successes. On last session, you wrote about attack. fondling the sack. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I was checking it for traps. So, so I've how, many, from my memory. how many successes seven. did you get? Seven. seven. Against the big guy, right? Yep. Oh, eight, eight. Sorry, eight. eight. And that's yep. a divine defense, correct? Uh, no, uh, physical defense. Physical I'm defense, just sorry. Attacking just him with my helper. Into him, right? Yeah. That's all I got left at this point. Um. So I've got two successes. Okay, so and six. Is, through. Your weapon is it enchanted in any way? A uh, spiritual weapon. Okay. Uh, so six of those successes got through. My base damage is eight. I actually, my not five times table is worse than everything else. So let's put the calculator. Eight times six equals forty-eight plus my strength of currently eight is fifty-six damage. Um, it's got A10, which I think is armor piercing 10, isn't it? Um, yeah, this thing is not wearing any yeah. armor, by the way. Okay, it's, cool. It's, so there is no there is no armor that you can see, but you when you hit it, you can feel a resistance. 56. Uh, 68 damage. Holy damage. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, that was my first attack. Second yeah. attack. Um, minus ten. Uh, I rolled an ought two. Nice. Good job for you. Yeah. Very good job for me. <laughs> um, ten. You rolled a sixteen. 10? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So sixteen plus uh five is twenty one successes. Uh twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four successes. I've got two successes in my physical defense. Okay, so Yay. twenty two successes times eight. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Um plus my strength. Uh no, that can't be right. Let me just kill How about a little more? Twenty-two times eight. Oh, no. Twenty-two times eight. No, that was correct. Uh, plus six. Uh, plus two. Plus eleven. Twelve, even. Not eleven, twelve. One hundred ninety-six damage. How do you want to do this? Um, Quickly as possible. <laughs> this uh, is take the big it. guy. This is, I mean, you, yeah. yeah. Um, even when I take out his armor and all the other stuff, yeah, you've decimated him with this one. 
Yeah, um, it's because my base damage from my halberd is times eight, so okay. it's just ridiculously oh. violent. I think it's awesome. That's a lot of damage. How do you yeah, want to I... do this? Okay, um, I rear back with a snarl on my face and the name of a lull on my lips, and um, in I say uh, in the lowest growl, it's practically subsonic as my like my fangs are at full extent, my claws are at full extent, and ramming my uh, halberd forwards, like lifting this guy off his feet, like up into the air. Um, I say, in Alal's name, I smite you down. And I just watch as the life drains from it as it hangs above me. I don't know how to play my own sounds for some reason. Anyways, <laughs> you pick this thing up above you, correct? Yeah. It begins to slide down, and you can see that it is this, it's, there's a skeletal form beneath these these clothes and the and these and this and this robe as it begins to begin to slowly crumble and crumble. It's reaching for your face. Um, it scratches you just for just a little bit, just enough to leave you a lasting lasting scratch across your face as it falls upon you and evaporates into this thin, viscous like dust almost, right? Mm -hmm. that you can feel its presence pass through you um and it dissipates into the dust suddenly you feel the aura of a bad luck kind of lift mm -hmm. and everything suddenly explodes that was a really good roll <laughs> This is an excellent roll you match. <laughs> that was ah, that's awesome. And that's it. That's the climatic. Thank you, Ka I can't. It's better late than never. <laughs> Kusado, Kusado, I appreciate that. That's it. You guys have defeated it. You guys um and to here, you actually feel all of you start to feel this this presence that you guys have been feeling since you you began your way down here. Of this desperate not this desperation but this uh depression and an oppression begin to lift um mm -hmm. even the darkness seems to be wafting out as you guys begin to look around while it is still dark it's not as dark your lights from your torches begin to bounce off the stones and things like that that's it am i still I'm taking damage out. yes you're still taking damage you'll take six points of damage every turn until somebody does something uh can i kill him yeah at this point i'm gonna kind of scratch up at my neck and kind of pull off another sort of chunk of flesh yeah um, you're just you're probably, withering curing touch will that do it um, i think i, I need a doctor i think it will give me a second i need to double check the spell. i think i need a doctor and a strong bottle of liquor <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. I think, like, coming down from the battle adrenaline of it all, like, to hear uh, f first is, like, just looking around wide-eyed for the next threat, and then just slowly sort of relaxes and then just gets this very satisfied look on his face. Just walk over to Tahir. Just nod at him. So, um, just, you... Then I'm just going to put my hand out to him like that mm -hmm. with my last three bullets. <laughs> <laughs> we took it to the war, Zig. We took it to the war. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry. You okay, sorry. Uh, make a divine, uh, a lore divine check on this, please. Uh, one success. Correct. Oh, you made one success. Um, yeah, I got one success. This is not something that can be healed by magic. Okay. Um. There's other ways to do it. Specifically, uh, Gascon, make a stamina check at a TS of three, but you get a plus one to your stamina check this turn. Uh, 56, so that is three successes plus the one, four. All right. As the last little bit of, of your flesh kind of falls to the ground, 
you're left with these massive, massive scars <clears throat> that um, will, will be with you forever. The one across your face, the one across your arm, it will be there forever. Sort of run, the, run, run my fingers across the one on my face. Eh, not like I was looking to charm anyone anyway. <laughs> that's Plus. it, guys. No, I, I'm not. Yeah, that's it. You guys did it. You guys have defeated the big bad evil dude at the end of this. Yay, us. Yay. There's well, a bar who's... across the road, isn't there? There is a bar across the road, but... but... I suggest we adjourn it to the bar. Isn't um, there somewhere we're supposed to go to tell people about the... Yeah, I'll do that. You guys go to the bar. No. I'll bring in some... I've got to go somewhere and we talk to people talk about this as well. I tell you what, Zig, you go to the bar. I need to go report back to my superiors anyway. That's at the church. Yeah. I happen to need to go there as well. Do you mind if I accompany you? Well, Zig also, um, I didn't mention it before because I didn't want to worry you, but you've been cursed. So it might be a good job to, idea to get you to the church as well. All right, I'll come get on. to the church on time. <laughs> yeah. Um, Two of uh, your church. There's yeah, technically allow, still we'll these like two um, rooms we haven't checked out. Do we want to, or are we done here? We're probably going to be coming back here. Methinks. Yeah. We well, can do is, some. On all intents purposes, uh, here this is basically your church now. Yeah. That you need to come and reestablish after you. Obviously, I mean that was your orders originally. So go in there, yep. figure out what's going on, and now that you've figured it out. You've dealt with it. Now you can go through and um, do what you need to. And thank you for the cheers, Baron. Appreciate it. Thank you. And um, I just, I've realized like the, the significantly larger job in front of me than just renovating a small shrine. There's like an entire like multi-level shrine here that's been very badly desecrated. So um, more money is going to be required is what I'm thinking. So... Well, but the yeah. church will help with probably with most of that. I mean, it's not like you're out there by yeah. yourself, and you are in Dardura Shiva, and one of the main temples <laughs> is here. So, yeah, fantastic. So, I think there's like going to be a uh, mutual reporting back and letting people know what's happened and getting Ziggy cured and um, uh, sort of like getting some support for like coming through and cleansing and reestablishing the temple. Um, and then we'll get Ziggy his plowman's lunch or whatever is after. We need the holy hand grenade of Antioch, essentially. <laughs> we need someone to come in and do some serious blessing. Like <laughs> like I said, the holy hand grenade of Antioch. Mm -hmm. Likely just be you, though, that they are going to send back anyways. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just... How easy is it for you to create holy water? Um... I'm that's, not one hundred percent sure. That's part of your. Uh, that be part of the ability to craft holy items that you would need yeah. to take. Yeah, I can't do that at the moment. You can get holy so, water. You can Go make down. enough of it. We basically just create a hand pump and we just fill the basement with holy water. <laughs> um, as you guys are uh, meandering around trying to figure out what what what's left to be done, um, all of you make uh, perception checks. TS of three. Round you. I got an alt seven, so that is going to be a decent success. Thirty-four, uh, so that is four, four successes. Stat, yes. Not all at this. Five successes. How many successes? I got, eight. Did you get? I got five. This, this seven. Five. Four. Um, in seven. Five. I heard seven. I heard seven. Um, I in front of the actual what you assume is the actual um, shrine. Um, you notice the stonework itself. The floor is not set correctly. Um, I'll probably just lift it up and see what's under there. If it's like a, like it's slightly off. Right, it is. So you, you go over there and you kind of lift it up and you look into it and you see that it actually is a, um, it looks like an elevator kind of like object that looks like it 
goes down. It goes down. Not like it does. It goes down. Okay. Just sort of lean over the edge and look at it. Plot device? Go get some more lunch and buy some more bullets. <laughs> lunch and bullets. Good plan. <laughs> you, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to put the stone back. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go take a look. If it gets hairy, I'll just come straight back up. Okay, so it's so you pull the stone up, and like it's so there's about three or four inches of space between the top of the stone, and there's this like platform underneath it. Are you going to step onto the platform, or are you just going to leave it alone? I'm going to step onto the platform because I'm curious, and I'm a cat. You hear this uh, click sound. Um, and it begins to descend, and you descend with it. You descend about 15 feet, and you find yourself looking around. There's this tunnel, um, and in the middle of it is this. The, so the, where you step, where you come down, there's like this this dugout area. And when yeah. you look out, you're like, it looks like you're in a sewer system. There is a five foot walkway in front of you, and in front of that is a large, maybe 10 foot long or 10 foot wide uh, trench that's filled with uh, slowly moving water and it smells horrible down here, but it's not like mm -hmm. really bad. And then across the across that, you can see another five foot platform. The tunnel itself is shaped and built. Mm -hmm. um, this, make an intelligence check. I mean, for all, for all intents and purposes, this looks like this was this the way Things were coming in and out of this thing. Okay, cool. Uh, I got like three successes on the intelligence check. Yeah. This was yeah. definitely a secret door into the sewers of the Dodashiva, which allowed the necromancer before you killed him to become the lich. Um, it, his way of bringing bodies in without going through the top. Okay, cool. I'm going to head back up then because this is just something we need to brick up basically that's a character question do liches have phylacteries in this system no good so what you're saying is phylactery will get you nowhere <laughs> oh god Simon. <laughs> i'm dying really Ouch. i'm dying Ouch. legitimately dead <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just Ow. I'm dead I, I'm, I'm, I'm currently ascending I'll see you later <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, done with it I'm, I'm did you finally with scratch that lich? that <laughs> joke? Oh, that's just rotten really <laughs> well, you know what they say about a lich in nine saves time so what do you guys want to do? Um, let's see what time is it what time is it for you guys? it's uh, half 11. ten I'm sorry, it's what? 25 to 11. 25 to 11. Uh, do you want to stop here and regain back uh, in two weeks? Yeah. That way we yep. can I think that's like playing and, and some stuff like that. And we can yeah. spend some time doing so I wanna, that fun I definitely stuff. want to look at upgrading my handgun before the next game. Well, before the next game, um, go ahead and rank you guys up again. Fantastic. That was oh, very... Ready. Well, because the the reason why is because I didn't have you rank up the last time when you guys should have, and this mm. uh, particular fight ultimately was, uh, yeah, I'm there drinking. was a lot of a lot of ex merit to be handed out for a lot of different reasons. Also, uh, to hear um, gain three philosophy points for the last time, and then three more for this one. Oh, sweet! So you stay uh, devoted, good. Yeah. Um, let me just call up my character sheet. Uh, philosophy points. I think that puts me up to 12 now. Brilliant. Nice. I'm a good person. So, so I'm sheep. Oh, so um, must right. be true. You are right. I didn't see that. See what happens now? I move everybody around. <laughs> ah, I can't catch you. I just. Uh... Didn't want hey, to say anything. Uh, you should have told me earlier because I would. Have I only been, I, I, I only noticed it. when I sent the message. 
Um, anyway, so that is awesome, you guys. You guys Great. have actually, so what, you guys are fifth rank now? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fifth rank. Um, well, there's a lot of fun begins at fifth rank. A lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun things start to happen at fifth rank and stuff like that. And we will figure out where you guys are going to go next. Um, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that a certain uh, adventure is going to be used. You guys. Um, either start snark and bourbons or a legendary plot doctor's version. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, um, all right, you guys, say good night. Good night. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for helping us not die. <laughs> that all goes to Nick, by the way. I don't think you guys would have survived had he not given you those uh, heroic locks yeah. like he did. No, 100%. Does he play in one of your games? Huh? Does he play in one of your games? Yeah, actually, he uh, he's actually so he's a he's a peer uh, Twitch streamer, and back and forth, he's actually played Legends of Kratos, rolled up a character in Legends of Kratos. Um, he is he's actually in a series. Uh, character's name is Hanaway, and they were about, uh, several thousand miles south of Dodoshiva in a small town called the uh, Cold Iron Town of Cold Iron, where they started their adventure to try to find uh, a young girl who they never did find and found themselves at the end of it on the second stream uh, out in the void, literally looking outside of a port window and where they're at exactly, they have no idea. Well, it okay. just seems fair that the next time they're playing, we jump on and we just reward them in kind. Mm -hmm. Well, it's possible. We're going to um, break your system. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know when Nick's going to be playing with us. He's really busy, but, uh, Kim, Joe, and Schmidt, uh, some of his friends that are going to be playing, we're going to start playing every other Sunday night, basically late that night for you guys, though. It's like, um, uh, 8 30, 9 30 my time. So it's, that's six more hours ahead. So it's Is really that the break up in the morning. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's like yeah even i am not up that early i occasionally <laughs> am so i might be able to catch the first half hour at occasional right. points <laughs> yeah so i mean you know tonight we're actually going to be streaming um special what zero. day of the week did you say that was sundays every other sunday i think certain, currently the goal is to do it every other sunday probably right after this game right i'm not stealing your friends i'm just borrowing your friends they're still your friends god are we a little are we a little weird about that there nick anyways all right i'm gonna let you guys go i'm gonna go say goodbye to everybody else and i will catch you on the flip side See? all right you guys that's it uh they finally finally after i think it was the was the 11th or 12th episode i think it's the 11th episode the 11th episode they finally got to of a one shot right it started off as a one shot and it's turned into this huge thing but again you know it's because of the fact is that we don't uh you know they're in britain and we're seven hours seven to eight hours ahead of them and so i appreciate them taking the time out of their 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 busy schedules with university and children except for uh the out of print gm he's got no real excuse um so I want to say thank you to them. That's been awesome to have them uh, play through that. And thank you so much for you all following us. We're going to be back again in two weeks uh, for more real gray mouser and the, and Fafred. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, stay legend.